Hey what's happening guys welcome to your 28th Python 3 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a themed lorem ipsum generator. Okay then so now we know how to read and write files using Python in this tutorial I want to bring those two features together and I want to create some kind of random lorem ipsum generator. So to begin with I've already created this ipsum underscore gen dot py file nothing in there just yet that's in the projects folder i've also created in there an ipsum dot text file which is some vanilla lorem ipsum i've created another file which is blank called ninja underscore ipsum so how is this going to work well first of all what we're going to do is read from this ipsum dot text file this is some vanilla lorem ipsum so we're going to read all that first of all then we're going to separate this into a list and each word is going to be in this list as an element. Then what we're going to do is run this list through some kind of map function whereby we're going to associate each word with a ninja word as well and output that to a new list. So we're going to have some randomly injected ninja themed words within this text and we're going to then write that text to this file right here. So let's get started then. The first thing I want to do is create some ninja words. Now, I'm not going to write all these up from scratch because that would just bore you and me. So I've already copied and pasted these from my GitHub repository. So there's 14 words in here in total, and this list is called ninja words. So the next thing I want to do is open the ipsum.txt file so I can read it. So to do that, I'm going to say with and then open. Then the file we want to open is ipsum.txt and I'll say as and it's going to be ipsum underscore original, right? That's the original ipsum file. So we've opened that now. What I want to do is read the items, read the words. So I'm going to say items. This is what this list of words is going to be called. And I'm going to set it equal to ipsum underscore original. This is our reference to the file. And then dot read, we're going to read it. And then once we've read that, we're going to get a string and we're going to split that string. We use a method called split and that's going to put each word as an element into a list. So this now is going to be a list of words, right? Cool. So now what we want to do is cycle through those words and somehow associate each word with a random ninja word, right? So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we need to know how many paragraphs we want to output and we're going to ask the user to define that. So before we even open the file, what I'm going to say is paragraphs and set that equal to int because we're going to typecast whatever the user inputs here. And then it's going to be input. I'm going to ask the user to enter how many paragraphs of Ninja Ipsum they want. So a string and we'll say how many paragraphs of Ninja Ipsum. OK, so they're going to enter, say, four. So then that's turned into an integer and then that's stored in paragraphs. So we want four paragraphs. So each time around through one of these paragraphs, we want to associate these items, these words with some ninja words as well to mix it up. So what I'm going to do is construct a for loop to loop through each paragraph. So I'll say for n in, then we're going to use a range, which we've learned about already. And this range is going to be paragraphs. So say they enter three. This paragraph variable is going to be three. And then we're going to say for n in range of three. So that's from zero to three. Makes sense. So then what we want to do is say ninja underscore text is going to be equal to list. We're going to create a new list, remember, based on this list. But what we're going to use is the map function inside here, because what we want to do is somehow kind of ninjaize our current list. So let's call this function that we're going to use ninjaize. So that's the function we're going to pass each item through and we're going to pass items, this list of items from this lorem ipsum we read through into this map function. So each of these items is going to pass through this ninja ride function and output a new list here, right? So what we need to do then is create this function called ninja rise. So up here, what I'm going to say is def and then ninja rise. And this is going to take in a word each time around, right? So every time we're looping through this items list, we're going to pass in each word through into this ninjaize function, right? That's what the map function does right here. So in this ninjaize function, what do we want to do? Well, what we want to do is attach one of these ninja words to whatever word was passed in. OK, so it's going to be almost like a double barrel thing. Now we want each ninja word to be random. We want to randomly select one. So to do that, I'm going to employ the help of a module. So I'm going to say from random. 
and then I want to import rand int. So what this is going to do is allow me to grab a random integer between two numbers, say between 1 and 10, and then we can use that to grab an index out of this list. Make sense? So the way we do this is by first of all creating a variable. I'm going to call this random underscore pos for position, and this is going to be equal to rand int. So this is a function. Then we're going to say we want a random integer from 0 because we start off on 0 and we're using indexes, and then we want it up to the length of this list minus one. I'll explain this in a minute. So it's going to be len for the length and it's ninja underscore words minus one. So why minus one? Well, there's 14 words in this list, but if we go to the last one, this is index 13, not 14 because it starts at zero, right? So we want to get the length, which is 14, then minus one, because we don't want to use an index 14, which doesn't exist. The highest is index 13. That's why we minus a 1. So that's what we're getting a random in between 0 and 13 in this case. And we're storing it in this variable. So now what we can do is we can use this random position to grab one of these words, a random word, each time around. So we're going to return something here because we're passed in a word. We want to return a string as well. So we're going to return, and it's going to be a formatted string, so f first. And then we're going to output the word that we receive in, so the original law of Ipsum word. Then I want to output as well a ninja word, a random ninja word. So I'm going to say ninja underscore words, and then use the square bracket notation to say the index of one of these things in here. And I'm going to pass in the random underscore pos variable. So that could be anything from 0 to 13. So we're going to get a random word and place it next to the lorem ipsum word that was passed in. Then we're returning the two together in a string, right? And we're doing that for each item in this lorem ipsum list. So now it's going to get all jumbled up with ninja words and vanilla lorem ipsum words. And that list is going to be stored in this ninja underscore text, right? So now we have this list of words. What we want to do now is write this to the new file ninja ipsum right so how are we going to do that well what we want to say is we want to open this other file so i'm going to say with open and then the file i want to open is called ninja underscore ipsum dot txt and we're going to say as and i'll call this ipsum um, underscore oops the bracket needs to close over here so it's going to be called ipsum underscore ninja so that's our reference to this new file then what we're going to do is write this so we can say ipsum underscore ninja dot write. Now we can't just write this list of words. Each of these elements in this list is just a word. What we want to do instead is join all those words together in some kind of string. So the way we do that is by placing an empty string first of all, or rather a space in the string. This is going to be the connector, what connects all the words together. And we want them to be connected with a space. So there's a space between each collection of words. Makes sense? So we want to join that then with the list, which is ninja underscore text. Then what we're going to do is plus on a little bit more. So we're concatenating on a little bit more to the string here. And this is just going to be a couple of line breaks. So backslash n, backslash n, right? That's how we do the line breaks. So now then, if we save this, if we run the file, I'm going to go to Python and it's called, in fact, we need to CD into the projects directory. First of all, I'm in the lessons one currently, so I'll say CD upper level, then CD projects. Then I'm going to say Python and this file is called Ipsum underscore gen dot py. Let's run this. How many paragraphs of Ninja Ipsum do you want? Okay, let's say three and we get an error. Just stupidly right here we've opened it as read only and we're trying to write so remember we need to pass in this a um, attribute here parameter right here to say we want to write to this file or amend to it now we're going to use a not w because what we're doing is we're cycling through this for each paragraph right so once we've added one paragraph we then don't want to overwrite it with a new par uh, paragraph we want to amend a new paragraph okay make sense so let's save this again and run it once more and how many paragraphs? Three. So now there's no error. And if we take a look in Ninja Ipsum, we should see three paragraphs of random ninja themed Laura Ipsum. And there we go. So just to run through this one more time, what are we doing? Well, first of all, we're asking the user how many paragraphs they want and we're converting that to an integer 
which is stored in this paragraphs variable right here. Then we're opening this ipsum.txt, which is vanilla lorem ipsum, and we're reading that text and we're splitting up that string that we get back into a list. So this list is going to be a list of those individual words inside that text. So then what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop to cycle through how many paragraphs we have requested. So if there's three, we'll cycle through this three times. Each time around, what we're doing is we're saying this variable ninja text is going to be equal to a list. Then we're going to map the current items right here, the items which are the original list of words. We're going to pass each of those items into this ninjaize function, which is getting a random integer between zero and 13 in this case to select a random ninja word. Then we're placing that ninja word next to the original word we passed in, the original vanilla lorem ipsum word, placing those two together in a string and we're returning that string. So those return strings are then stored in this list right here. Then what we're doing is opening this ninja ipsum .txt file. We're saying we want to amend to that file each time around so we can write to it. We refer to that as ipsum ninja. Then we say we want to write to it and we want to join everything together inside this ninja text list. So every set of words inside this list right here, we're joining together and the connector is going to be this space. So in between each set of words, there's going to be a space. Then we're adding on these line breaks at the end of all of that paragraph. So the next paragraph is a couple of lines down. Okay, so we're cycling through that and doing that for as many times as we requested. Then we get this ninja ipsum right over here. So there we go. That's how we create a random ipsum generator.